And welcome back. We're live at Infinidec again. We're taking a look at this unbelievably cool treadmill where you can go 360 degrees in the virtual world. Would you guys like to see it? Oh, yeah. Let's do it. Okay, I'm going in, Ben. All right. I'm in. Three, two, one. Okay. And I'm walking down this thing. Uh, by the way, uh, they made me into a robot. You guys want to see my legs? Yes, please. Look, see my legs? Oh, Don't they look that? like Kim Rudolph's legs? <laughs> They're robotic. They're little tiny, little okay. skinny little things. You are trying right. to start oh, problems. Oh, no. Unbelievable. <laughs> Them are fighting okay, words so, right there. Ben, I'm, I'm going through a maze. What's my, okay. what, what am I doing here? So you're going to find the golden egg. The golden egg? And I know on the on the TV screen that you'll see here, it looks a little bit different, but in virtual reality, it's moving in real time, and, and it's really fun to see. I'm, so. I'm going around the corner. There's like a, a bench right there. Yeah, I could virtually sit on the bench I if I say, wanted to. Sit on the bench? That's winded. probably not a good idea. Okay, so this, I'm serious, like this is an absolute blast. Look, I'm changing directions. I'm just walking like a normal Cody. Oh, there's like a little radio over here. But Ben, there's actually some applications to this that might just change people's lives. So let's talk about, say if you're a firefighter. So How would you guys use it for that? So if you go into virtuality, they can do uh, virtual training for firefighters where they can practice going through a smoke-filled house with their entire uh, firefighting team. And it allows for lower cost training and um, more interactive training that the people can experience different, uh, different environments. I backed myself into a corner. Okay, I'm running this way. What about, <laughs> say, uh, say you got a leg injury? And uh, you know, normally they just put you on a dumb treadmill, you're going forward, but that's not like real world applications. Like if you're trying to retrain yourself to walk, say if you've had a, a stroke um, and you gotta relearn how to walk, how would this help? So the ability for um, your physical therapist and your whole uh, therapy team to be able to see data of how, how you're progressing, we, we can provide that data to your therapist, but also Walking in one direction is not how you walk in the real world. As you come across a, a puddle or some, a curb, you want to be able to walk around those things. It, it gives you the ability to, in, in a virtual environment, a safe virtual environment, to walk through and around those items. I got to say, Woo! this was amazing. Absolutely amazing. Good job, you guys. I know it's been a big dream. George, I met you three years ago. You told me about this, and I didn't even dream that this would happen. This is the coolest thing. It's going to change everything right here, right here in Rockland. Yeah. Amazing. All right, back to you guys in the studio there. Ready Player One is going to have everybody want one of those Infinidex. Thanks, Code.